The other plant I want to introduce you, a ceremonial plant for us, is the sweet grass. And the sweet grass is picked and you leave the stem of the roots, you leave them in the ground when you cut them or when you break them off your fingernails. And then while they're still green, you braid them. You put a bunch of uh, sweet grass together and you braid uh, r roughly about this distance. You're looking what, 18 inches long? There's some that are shorter, there's some that are longer. And the sweet grass we use uh, for healing. Healing of the mind, healing of the body, healing of locations. And again, you use the uh, smoke that comes off, that's generated off it, as, as if it's water and you're washing up with it. You wash your whole body with it. You can start with your feet or start from your face area over your head and down to your feet. And again, it's a good idea to have a container with you. Uh, today I brought the shell along to put down on my metal plate so that I can put the uh, sweet grass, uh, sweet grass uh, ashes that fall down. And you always try to protect all your medicine plants from touching ground. And while you're picking them in the fresh stage, you try not to put them on metal. Use your hands when you're picking the metal, uh, picking the uh, medicine. So this is sweet grass, and it's braided. And I usually carry mine in uh, tied up in that in that form. In my hat, I believe you'll find the sweet grass up here that's been sewn onto my hat. As a gatherer of medicines, this is one of the ones that we use for uh, smudging, getting the uh, smoke into us, uh, around us, not into us. You uh, try not to inhale it. <laughs> 